Tonight on Primary News with the Pine Beach News Team, we see what each grade level is doing and some upcoming events. And also we have a look at some new teachers that recently joined our Pine Beach staff. Primary News will start in two minutes. Something's happening to the polar bear. Arctic sea ice is melting away. Two-thirds of the world's polar bears will be gone by 2050, and the entire species could be extinct yeah. by the end of the century. Go to savethepolarbear.org today. Welcome to Primary News. This is the Pine Beach Edition. I'm Aiden. And I'm Alyssa. We are your hosts. Later on tonight, we will take a look at an interview with our Teacher of the Year, some curriculum news and tech talk. So far this year, we have had some very exciting things happening at our school. But first of all, let's welcome our new staff members. We would like to welcome Miss Allen, she is temporarily filling in for our speech teacher who just had a baby. Miss Allen works with children of all ages. She is practicing articulation and language with some kids. She also works with adults, teaching them strokes and memory skills. In fourth grade, we would like to welcome Mrs. McLaughlin, student teaching with Mr. Class. She loves to teach because she likes to give inspiration to children and help them grow. When she teaches, she feels like the students teach her as well. Her favorite subjects are science and reading. Pine Beach is so excited to welcome our new teachers, but also congratulate our experienced ones. That's right, a huge congratulations goes out to Mrs. Basso, our teacher of the year. Check out, the vid our vi check out our video of Diana and Ava interviewing her. Hi, I'm Diana. And I'm Ava. We're here, we're here to interview the Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Basso. Hi, everybody. What is your favorite subject to teach? I have two favorite subjects, actually. Um, my first favorite is reading. I love to teach reading because I love to read stories. And I love um, how the children can apply the skills and strategies that they're learning through the stories that they read. I also love to teach science because I love to do all of the hands-on experiments with my students and to see them grasping the concepts that they're learning in science. What do you enjoy doing outside of school? Um, outside of school, I like to go to the beach. I like to travel a lot. Um, I love sailing, um, any kind of boating I love. Um, and I have five brothers and sisters, so any time that I get to spend time with them, um, I love to do different family activities. And I have three children, so I like to go to all of their sporting events and the things that they like to do. What, do you, what was your favorite book when you were a child? I have a couple of those, too. Um, my favorite book when I was in sixth grade was Bridge to Tarabithia. I loved that book. Um, I also loved the Sweet Valley High books because they were all about um, two blonde-haired twins, Jessica and Elizabeth Wakefield. And I have blonde hair, and I am a twin. So I made that text to self-connection with those girls. So I loved that series. And I also loved the Little House on the Prairie series. My grandmother used to read me those books before bed, and I loved Loved, loved, loved every one of those books. So those are my favorites. What college did you go to? I went to Georgian Court College, which is now Georgian Court University. I majored in elementary education and um, psychology, and I also minored in art history. If you didn't teach second grade, what grade would you teach? second grade I would probably teach um, kindergarten or first grade um, I think I'm definitely a k-to-two teacher that's just my niche 
what I like and what I feel I meant to do. Um, I love to see the growth in the children socially, academically, um, and just emotionally, all the growth that they make through the, the younger years when they're in school. So definitely kindergarten or first grade if I wasn't a second grade teacher. Oh, sorry. Why did you want to be a teacher? Um, I knew, I've always known I wanted to be a teacher. Um, I even have in my classroom a little um, um, essay that I wrote in kindergarten that said I wanted to be a teacher. Um, my inspiration was my grandmother, Zeta Hornage. Um, she was a teacher and she was actually the first kindergarten teacher ever here at Pine Beach Elementary. Her classroom was the classroom that Miss Grasso is in uh, today. And she just always spoke of her students so lovingly and she just had such a passion for her job that I just I would just remember as a child growing up saying, wow, I want to I want to be a teacher just like her, and I want to be um, just as good of a teacher as she was. And I remember even going, you know, I lived here in Beechwood. I grew up in Beechwood as a, as a child, and um, I just remember going to places like Woolworths when Woolworths was here and, and going to Moore's Farm Market, and people, parents would come up to my grandmother and say how appreciative they were, and her students always came up to her whenever they would see her and just adored her, and I just thought, wow, I really want to be a teacher. I thought it was going to be the best profession, and it is. Who's next? What was your favorite subject when you were a child? Oh, favorite subject was definitely reading. I just love stories, and I love to get involved with the characters, and um, I loved series. Any series that I could get my hands on, I, I would read them. I remember going to the Beechwood Library all the time and picking a shelf, and whatever the series was on that shelf, I loved to read. So I pretty much read every book in the Beechwood Library. How long, how long have you been teaching at Pine Beach? Um, this is my 16th year that, that I've been teaching, so 16 years. What is your favorite memory of teaching at Pine Beach Elementary School? Um, I don't have a, a one favorite memory. I think every year um, I have different memories that I enjoy. Um, all of our second grade um, special events that we put on, I remember, like the first time we did our Earth Day play, um, the first time we did Author's Night, seeing the kids, how proud they were, um, presenting their stories that they had worked on all year and had in their, um, their books. Um, the first time, I remember one of my memories, favorite memories is definitely I taught um, Excel after school on Fridays and I had 12 sixth grade boys and we were doing language arts, and they all brought me their unit test um, that they had all passed, and they were so proud of themselves. So I remember that as a special moment that, you know, working hard, and we taught them that it would pay off. And um, But every year, I think, I, you know, every teacher makes good memories for that year. So I don't have one that stands out. I just, every year is a great year, and there's new accomplishments with each student that, you know, wraps up the year. What was your first job? Uh, my first job, I had to work for my father at Brave New World in Tom's River. It's a surf and skate shop. And oh, he, he woke me up one morning and said that he needed someone to work in the shoe department. And I was devastated because I did not want to work in the shoe department of the store. Um, so he put me in the shoes and accessories when I was 16. And then I graduated and became a cashier for him later on. And I worked there, I think, for about 16 years. Because when I became a teacher, I still worked there part time for my dad as well. So, thank you, Miss Basso. We are lucky to have you as a teacher at Pine Beach. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you, everyone. We are so lucky to have Miss Basso at our school. Thank you for your 16 years of teaching. You make second grade tons of fun. You're right, Alyssa, but it's time for a short break. Coming up afterwards, we look at an interview with our Educational Professional of the Year and what each of the grade levels are up to. Primary News will be back right after this. How far would you go to help someone? Would you go to the end of your driveway? Would you cross a street? Would you cross an ocean? Would you go if you could use your knowledge to teach someone? And in the process, maybe learn something yourself. 
Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. I knew I needed help paying for college. I've always wanted to be a teacher. I used to make worksheets for my friends to do. No one ever wanted to come over. My guidance counselor told me about federal student aid, and my mom helped me fill out the free application. I got the grants and loans that made school possible. There is a way to pay for school. You just have to find it. My name is Caitlin. I'm going to be a special education teacher. I'm going to live my dream. Welcome back to Primary News. I'm Aiden. And I'm Alyssa. Let's take a look at another special person who works at Pine Beach, Mrs. Boyle. She has been with us for many years and is now a paraprofessional in third grade. Check out the following video of Christopher interviewing the fabulous Mrs. Boyle. Take it away, Chris. Hi, my name's Christopher. I'm here to interview Ms. Boyle, paraprofessional teacher of the year. Tell us a little about yourself. I am married and I live right down the street. Um, I actually went to the school. I graduated from Tom's River South and I went to college in West Virginia. I have two adult children, 25 and 22, and I love living in Beachwood. What do you like about teaching? What do I, I like um, the challenges of it. I like to help the kids um, figure out their problems and when they don't understand something, I like to help them figure it out because I get to work one-on-one -on -one a lot with a lot of the students. And I like that each day is different. You know, we do different things every day, and that's what I enjoy about it. How do you enjoy your free time? I love to cook, and I like to spend time with my family and my dog. And um, we, have a, we live in an old house that we're working on fixing up, so that keeps us really busy. And we're lucky our family all lives very close. Um, my husband's family and his mom are all in Pine Beach and Beachwood, so we do a lot of things together. What is your favorite subject? Um, when I was younger, my favorite subject was anything to do with English reading, writing, grammar. I enjoyed that. And, but now I'm very interested in um, nature and um, plants and animals and also history. I love documentaries and learning about new things that happened in history. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? I have always wanted to be a writer, um, and I would still like to be a writer someday and publish a book. So hopefully one of these days you'll be reading my book. <laughs> How do you like working at Pine Beach Elementary? I love working at Pine Beach. Um, the staff is wonderful. And the kids are wonderful. I went to Pine Beach, my husband went to Pine Beach, and my children went to Pine Beach. So we have a long history here. Um, I. I just love it here, it, and it's so close to home. It just feels like I, I'm home every day. You know, it's not even like going to work. What are your favorite activities? Uh, I love to run. I've been running for a long time, since I was 14. Um, I like to paddleboard. I took that up a couple years ago. And I love to sail. Um, both my children were in the sailing program in Beachwood, and we have a sailboat, a family sailboat we go out on. Um, and I like to cook, and I love to garden. In the summer, you can find me most of the time digging in the dirt. That's like my favorite thing to do. What are your favorite foods? Well, I don't eat anything from the land, so that eliminates a lot of stuff. I haven't eaten anything from the land in like 30 years, so I eat fish and vegetables and and chocolate. I have a weakness for chocolate. Tell me about your pet. Oh, my pet. Um, we've always had dogs. Our dog now is Daisy. We've had her for 11 years. She's going to be 12 um, next week. She acts like a two-year-old. She's an awesome dog. She's a golden retriever yellow lab, and she's just a big, happy knucklehead. She makes us laugh every day. She's a great dog. I can't imagine my, my home without a dog and without dog hair. <laughs> What is your favorite season? 
My favorite season is spring because then I get to garden again and I can plant my herb garden and um, everything's coming alive and the ground is warming and we get to do things outside again, which I really enjoy. So I like spring. Thank you, Ms. Boyle. We are happy to have you here in Pine Beach Elementary. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Boyle, for all your hard work. We are very happy to have you at Pine Beach. Now let's move on to our grade level news. The Karen Kindergartners continue to have a very exciting year and have been learning a lot. In language arts, they are beginning to read leveled readers and discovering letter sounds. In math, the, the students are learning how to count by tens and how to add and subtract by fives. Next, next up are our fabulous first graders. They are working hard learning about base 10 blocks and relation symbols. In reading, the students are learning about how things change in time and are building their reading stamina. The super smart second graders are writing personal narratives and learning about informal, informational writing. Keep up the fantastic work. Well, it sure looks like Pine Beach is an exciting place these days, but it's time for us to take our break. After the break, we see how the rest of the students at Pine Beach are doing their best. We will be right back. What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you ignore it? Or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world? To serve people you've never met? What will you do when you hear your calling? Peace Corps, life is calling. How far will you go? There are some things you simply cannot control. And some really important things you can, like keeping your family healthy, managing finances, preparing for retirement. It's all here in this booklet from the American Diabetes Association, because we want everyone to be healthy and happy. Order your free copy of Planning for a Healthy Life now to help manage the things you can control. Welcome back to Primary News with the Pine Beach News Team. Let's now take a look at how the other grade levels are doing. Let's check out the sinking third graders. The students are starting to learn multiplication. They have also been participating in a book club about unlikely friendships. You should check out the book Kate and Pippin and also Tara and Bella. So what's, so what's going on with the uh, fun fourth graders? The fourth grade students are learning multi-digit multiplication in math and energy in science. They are also going to start studying the southeast region. You wouldn't believe the persuasive paragraphs they submitted. Quite convincing. Speaking about the fourth grade, you need to see Ashley, Ava, and Cooper with our Curriculum Corner. Take it away, my friends. Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm Cooper. And I'm Ava. We're, We're fourth, fourth graders, graders in Mr. Class's rocking class at Pine Beach Elementary. The fourth graders throughout the district absolutely loved our first unit in reading workshop. This thematic unit on immigration taught us many new skills that will help us become better readers. While reading nonfiction, identifying text structure helps you better understand text information in the text. Authors of nonfiction write using description, sequence, compare and contrast, problem and solution, and cause and effect text structure. Knowing text, text structures help you identify the main idea. When you don't know the main idea, just ask yourself, what's the text mostly about? 
It also helps when you are summarizing the text in your own words. Have you ever come across an unfamiliar word while reading? I know I have. We learn that good readers don't just skip unfamiliar words. Skipping words may cause meaning to break down, and before you know it, you forget what you're reading about. Good readers use clues in the text to help them determine its meaning. Reading before and after a word, using prefixes and suffixes, and replacing the word with guesswork are all great strategies you can use. Throughout the unit, we also learned what immigration is, why people left their country, and what it was to pass through Ellis Island and live in America. Immigration is when people come to a new land from another country. Even though immigration is hard, is difficult. People still felt like it was worth leaving their homelands. Now here's Ava talk with more information on why immigrants came over on to our great t country. Take it away, Ava. Thanks, Ashley. People have left their countries for years just to come to America. One reason was that they believed they could become rich. There were even rumors that the streets of America were paved in gold. Another reason was to be free to make their own decisions. Overall, immigrants came to America to have a better life. This often meant choosing their own religion or furthering their education. Cooper, tell, it w tell us what it was like when the immigrants got to America. Thanks, Ava. Unfortunately for the immigrants and us, the streets are not paved in gold. Arriving at Ellis Island was a huge part of the immigration process. For nearly five decades, Ellis Island was the main American immigration center. All immigrants passed through Ellis Island to check into America and get inspected for illness. This process was difficult and many people were sent back to their home country if they were sick. If people did make it through, the names were often misunderstood, leaving many people with new last names. Many immigrants lived in tenements or small apartments with poor living conditions. It was a hard life, but it was often better than where they came from. Wow, we sure did learn a lot. There's more, however. If you love fiction like I do, check out the book The Orphan of Alice Island by Elvira Wood Woodruff. This story follows a fifth grader named Dominic C Cantore as he time travels, as he transported back in time when he went on a field trip to Ellis Island. Shh, don't give away too much, Ashley. Will Dominic find out about his family and their roots? Will he make it back home? This book is sure to leave you on the edge of your seat. If it sounds interesting, you should definitely check it out. Thank you for joining us on our journey through our immigration unit. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Bon voyage. It was awesome, fourth graders. I can't wait to read that book. Finally, let's talk about our fantastic fifth graders. Well, let me tell you, there is no time to be bored in the fifth grade. Here at Pine Beach, fifth graders are reading the novel Shiloh. We are finding notes and notes, writing reflections, and learning about plot. It is also time to write our personal narratives. Also in fifth grade, the students are learning about adaptations in science, and the 13 colonies in social studies. And watch out, fifth graders, it's fraction time, my favorite. In addition to our grade level teachers, we ha also have a lot of exciting things going on in our special area subjects. Pine Beach is a place that is fun and educational, but it is time for us to take a short break. After the break, we see how the rest of the students at Pine Beach are doing their best. We will be right back. What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you ignore it? Or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world? To serve people you've never met? What will you do when you hear your calling? Peace Corps, life is calling. How far will you go? There are some things you simply cannot control. 
and some really important things you can, like keeping your family healthy, managing finances, preparing for retirement. It's all here in this booklet from the American Diabetes Association because we want everyone to be healthy and happy. Order your free copy of Planning for a Healthy Life now to help manage the things you can control. Welcome back to Primary News. I'm Aiden. Now let's take a look at what's happening in our special area classes. In physical education class, we are focusing on our basketball skills. We have been working on the proper techniques for dribbling and passing. Next is shooting and using our teammates to score. Afterwards, the classes will work on fitness station, concentrating on jumping rope and climbing the rope. Next. Next up is our music classes. Right now, the kindergartners are working on echo songs and rhythm patterns. The first graders are singing Happy Birthday to Mozart, while the, sec while the second graders are practicing for their Earth Day show. Lastly, the fourth and fifth graders are performing rhythm centers. Now let's check out the exciting things happening in the art room. Fifth graders are starting their creative winter landscapes. They will shade the trees and put shadows on the ground, which will make it look three-dimensional. The fourth graders are finishing up their starry night paintings. All the students have been creating beautiful winter projects to be displayed in our hallways. Students have been practicing very hard during band lessons. We are learning different pieces of music such as Batman, Arkham City, Crazy Train, Dynamite, and Over the Rainbow. Come see our school-wide concert in June. Math Omni students are participating in a scavenger hunt type of mystery. Mr. Marfil, Marfil left $4.3 million in his will and the students need to solve various math problems to come up with four numbers of the combination to crack the safe. Good luck, I hope you receive your reward. There are many exciting things happening in the media classes at Pine Beach. Students are participating in weekly stations. They are reviewing media skills, practicing keyboarding and engineering skills, and learning how to problem solve. And let's not forget about our technology classes. At Pine Beach, the students are working on the Chromebooks and desktops, learning about Google drawings and creating seasonal posters. Speaking of technology, check out Robbie and Aiden with Tech Talk. They are going to teach us all about Quizlet. Hi, I'm Aiden. And I'm Robbie. And we are doing Tech Talk. We are going to show you how to use Quizlet. Speller, you have to type what you hear. You have to type the answer to a problem two different times in a different place. This is like a spelling bee. Is, scatter is when all your words are with your definition and you have to match the words with their definition as fast as you can. In flashcards, you will be able to use digital flashcards. You can change the motion between flip 
and flow. You can also change what you start with, the term or the definition. Gravity is when you have your word on an asteroid and before it gets to the bottom of the screen you must type the definition. Thanks for watching Tech Talk. We hope you learned about Quizlet. Goodbye. What a great lesson. Thank you, Robbie and Aiden. I can't wait to try it out myself. There are some other events and cool things going on at Pine Beach. Our new gym teacher, Mr. Roma, has been joining the kindergarten recess. He has been organizing games such as banana tag and sharks and minnows. He is very impressed with how, the fi how well the fifth graders help out the kindergartners. Speaking of Mr. Roma, we are happy to announce that he will be getting married soon. Congratulations to both him and his future wife. We like to have a good time at Pine Beach, El Pine Beach, especially during Wacky Joke Wednesdays. This is a hilarious morning announcement in which students tell funny jokes to everyone in the school. Keep laughing, Pine Beach. Finally, I would like to tell you about a new program going on at Pine Beach called Panther Picks. Students go down to the office and read a book review over the loudspeaker. Mrs. Parsons says she hopes this will help children find books that seem interesting to them or ones they have never thought of reading before. Well, that just about wraps up tonight's show. Remember, if you have a story you would like us to cover or if you have an, 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 an announcement about an upcoming event, please send it into school mail to the TV studio at High School East, or you can email us at tv21 at trschools.com. Also, be sure to tune in TV21 throughout the day to catch this show as we bring you stories from around the district. Also, please take a look at our website, www.trschools.com slash tv21. Well, that wraps up tonight's show. For Primary News, I'm Aiden. And I'm Melissa. Have, Have a happy, happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Good night. night.